So, uh, long time, no, no video. Uh, this is the Crazy Joe Show Video Chronicles, and uh, I am here at my uh, uh, new studio, and uh, the only reason I'm coming on is because I got 14 fucking subscribers, big fucking deal, and probably half of them are a bunch of scumbags. But um, to those people who are not scumbags, here I am in the buff. And the show of shows is going to be on very, very soon. Uh, because that's why I'm doing this video. Because the other videos, I don't show my face. To a bunch of fucking weasel, cocksucker, backstabbing, scumbag, mother... Well, not backstabbing, because... These scumbags don't know me, but, uh, you know, the people out there who've been uh, harassing me and stuff uh, because of Matt's show. But um, what I want to say is uh, the show shows is going to be on uh, in a little while. And um, uh, that's why I'm making this video, because uh, it's going to be on soon. It's going to be on soon. And I'm not going to say how much time because I'm going to take my time. I'm in no fucking rush. I have a lot of things to do here at this studio. I have to put this. Um, I have to put this studio together. Obviously, this is a a different location from my other location, and uh, I have to put the studio together, uh, set up everything, and it's going to take uh, a little time. But it's a lot sooner than I thought. I thought I would be back on the air in about five to six fucking months. But, uh, no, it turned out that um, I found a location uh, for the new studio. And uh, I'm going to be better off here at this location with the new studio. I love the, uh, I love this uh, location. Ugh. And, uh... I just love being alive right now, and I'm going to get into a lot of good shape. I'm going to do some exercise, and I have uh, uh, a lot of that stuff. Uh, join a, uh, a gym or something, get myself in good fucking shape. And uh, if I have to kick the shit out of you motherfuckers out there, if you have the fucking cojones and the balls to fucking come to New York and do something about it, I will fuck you up. Um, anyway, uh, what else do I have to say? I'm just looking forward because you people don't know what a real show is. You're a bunch of fucking pussies. Let me tell you. Um, I have nothing bad to say about Matt. Um, I would, I would like to, uh, I mean, I, I respect Matt and uh, I think things got out of line with Matt. And uh, some of it uh, I didn't handle, uh, I don't think he handled it uh, correctly. I didn't think I handled it correctly. But uh, regardless of the situation, I, uh, it doesn't matter. If I need something technical, I'll just hire somebody. I already have somebody that's going to put my studio together. But if I need someone to, uh, how to do a file and all this shit. And that fucking scumbag, Billy ass white cocksucker talk so much shit i never needed anything technical from that fucking backward hillbilly scumbag that butt fucking cattle fucker okay i already had a fucking technician that knows how to hook up my studio okay uh and i and and, and i never needed that that fucking hillbilly douchebag for anything really you know he was, he was a piece of shit. He was a liar. He was a bullshitter. And this is what's bad about this internet radio crap. That any jerk-off loser, okay, with the exception of me, of course, because I'm a winner from New York, that any fucking scumbag hillbilly asswipe like Billy Faggot Cocksucker Painter can get on the internet and you have to, you know, and I don't deal with the jerk. I, I fucking blocked him. He, he sends messages, you know, I never, I never get them. I mean, I get them, but he's blocked from my face crap page. And I don't need my face crap page. I don't need anything. Matter of fact, I don't need anything. Okay. 
The only thing I'm going to fucking do is do my fucking show, announce it. I'm going to announce it on Matt's show, my uh, debut, and it's going to be huge. And it's going to be, and people are going to be like this when they hear my show. Not just because of the great entertainment and comedy that I'm going to play and R-rated material, but also what comes out of my mouth. Because, man, I'm going to rank on what needs to be ranked on. And I don't need anybody. Not even Matt. Of course, I like to partner up with Matt if that's possible. But if that's not possible, then... Because I already have my website and... I'm going to cause such a, this is going to be like no show. And I don't need to prove myself to a bunch of jerk offs like you, because I know that the people on YouTube are jerk offs. I know you're not my friends. I don't understand where I get 14 subscribers from, but I don't need to, you know, once I get back on the air, I don't need to make fucking YouTube videos. I don't need to fucking be on face crap with the fucking neo-Nazi uh, social media, neo-Nazi Gestapo uh, people out there telling me what I can do, what I can't do. I mean, what I could say, what I can't say. I'm not going to need none of that. Social media is going to be an advertising for me. What I got to say and what I got to do, it's going to be live, baby, on the air from 7 to 9 on a Tuesday night. And I'm going to say, and I might even, I'll probably run overtime because a lot of my shows run overtime. But let me tell you, man, you are going to be shocked and amazed and you're going to literally jump out the window because I know you liberal scumbags out there. I know how you think because a lot of you are young, ignorant, and stupid. You don't know nothing about life. You don't know nothing about survival. The only thing you know how to do is go in front of a fucking camera and vape or smoke cigars, and be a fucking asshole. That's all you know how to fucking do on this social. And you're not funny, you're not entertainers, you suck, okay? You have no talent, all right? The guy you're looking at right now, I'm oozing with fucking talent, and I'm oozing with machismo. And I'll beat the fucking crap out of anybody out there who gets in my fucking face. But not just that, I am a performer. I am the man. I am the fucking man. I am today's rated R comedy star, today's shock jock and true savior of real rock and roll fucking music. That's right. The true fucking savior. I'm going to get rid of rap music single-handedly. I'm going to get rid of bad rock and roll music single-handedly. I'm going to get rid of wiggers single-handedly. I'm going to get rid of sellouts and traitors to their own kind. I'm going to do that. I got a lot of work to do. Okay. And it's going to be my fucking pleasure. To set you motherfuckers straight. Because you fucking need an ass whooping. I'm not talking about a physical ass whooping. Which some you could use. I'm talking about a mental ass whooping. I'm going to beat your fucking ass. Like you ain't never been fucking beat down before. And you know what? I'm going to fucking embarrass all of you. Your stupid fucking culture. You little punks. Your fucking little wet still behind the ears. You little fucking jerk offs. You don't know nothing about fucking nothing. That's why you're out there boring everybody. And if they like it. That's because they're as bad as you are. If not worse. You little fucking audience. Oh, did I leave out the other jerk off? Uh, the, um, uh, the Jared and the slime bag. Cocksuckers out there, the motherfuckers, assholes, pieces of shit. There's a lot of pieces of shit on social media, I'll tell you that. But luckily, a savior has arrived. And I've done this show before. That's why I took a year and a half off to evaluate and for personal issues too. I'm back. And I'm going to be your worst fucking nightmare. You fucking cocksuckers, watch. You think I'm playing a fucking game? Think again.